see any mobs. Luckily the lava is lighting this up sufficiently. So we don't have to worry too much about that. I'm blocking this off so the water doesn't push us into the lava. So here's Speak of the Devil. Yeah, yeah, do some mining for me. Some more iron. This is a good amount of iron uh, for the first dig down. I heard a skeleton. Where are you, skeleton? It looks like this goes on for quite a ways. There's some more iron. I will probably use this lava. Oh, you're right there. We have to be careful with some of this because I did not do a lot of searching for food resources before coming down here. I hadn't tend to keep the lava rather than uh, destroying it with water buckets. Number one, I don't have a water bucket yet, uh, but that's generally one of the first things I go for in a new world, just to prevent falling in that. I can't mine the redstone yet, but I promise to continue trying, so I'm just trying to keep my promise. Here. This is annoying. And now I'll probably just go up and do some looking around for some animals. I'm going to keep those two down here. We have a crafting table upstairs, so I'm not worried about bringing the crafting table with me. I just need to find my tunnel. So I'm a little high, um, I'm just going to get down here for the purposes of placing the ladders. Um, now that we have this established and we place the ladders, if we get a water bucket, we can place a water bucket at the bottom, and that will make traversing this a lot quicker. Uh, and you just throw a sign or something on the other side where the torches are, you can just go straight up and down. So, we need a little block here, unfortunately. Not strictly necessary, but... Sorry for the mouse clicking. My mouse is... Okay, so we're already back up, and that's why I like ladders. I got a, only one extra, and that's pretty good. Typically I end up with quite a few. Oh, wait. Yep, there's, they're on that side. Anyway, so let's check if it's daytime. Did I place stone there? I did. Okay, so perfect. It's daytime. Now we can search for food resources. And strangely, all the food has left. So here's a cow. Some chickens. Doesn't hurt to gather some seeds. Here's some eggs we can pick up. Start a chicken farm with those. I would like to leave a couple of these animals alive for the purposes of breeding. Um, sometimes I'll walk for a ways to try and find a place that seems to have a good amount of resources, but since we have the animals here, it doesn't necessarily make sense to do that. So I'm just staying at the spawn location. And since we have two of these, we'll just... We need more wood tools, wood panels, 
Can we burn a ladder? No. That's interesting. You can burn almost all the other wood souls, but not a ladder. I don't like to waste the logs, so I'm just going to make some wood planks for one. Perfect. So we managed not to starve to death. It's actually getting to be night again. I would have liked to have found more food in the meantime. Uh, but now we can start to cordon off an area for protection from mobs as we come up. not worrying too much about making things pretty at this stage. This is pretty, you know, this is primarily just a resource gathering time. Um, get as much as I can. You know, worry about making things pretty after you get some things established. Don't want any mobs spawning in here get in and out this way. Uh, I'm tempted to try and just gather some mob traps. Or at least get some grass. I'm still not seeing as many animals as I saw when I first came into the world. So we may have to do some searching around. These areas with a lot of trees are trouble. Uh, a lot of mobs spawn, and they kill me. Especially when I don't have any armor, so... I'm gonna stay away from those areas and just concentrate on the open areas for the time being. Get a couple more food items. Hi, doggy. Here. Would you like a bone? Oh. And I will name you Steve. Come on, Steve. Hopefully the dogs are a little more intelligent in 1.5. I had dogs in different single-player games in the past, and generally what seems to happen is I'll be traveling somewhere and they'll get stuck on a block and I'll never see them again. So I tend not to bother with them too much. Um, I, I did play a game where I had like five or six of them and what typically ended up happening was they would get blown up by creepers. So it just became a hassle to try and maintain a pack of dogs. I said I wasn't going to do this, but here's a cow, so... Die cow. There's another cow over there. He can live for now. I don't know if the mobs are smart enough these days to climb the ladders, but... Um, spiders definitely can get in here. I don't know if I care too much about that right now, because I do need the string. Um, so if they want to come in here, they're more than welcome. Uh, but the dog can't get in, which is convenient, because if I want to go down here, he doesn't have to go into the cave system and die. So let's... Since we have a couple eggs... This is probably not going to be successful, but... Three, four... Oh! Friend. Come, friend. Drop some string. Yes, thank you. I just need two more friends like you, and I will be all set. Um, three by three chicken farm. If we eventually do get some chickens from eggs, we can place water and farm it that way. Uh, 
Alright, so now we can go back down into the mine for a while. Let's cook this iron up here. The flower can go in the chests. Seeds, trees, leather. Feather I might hang on to in case we get a bow. Uh, it's not likely that we'll find a mine shaft, but if we do, we'll have plenty of string. That won't be a problem. So then we would be able to have some arrows right away. I'm going to light this up. This is enough room for a mob to spawn. So lots of torches. Get some miners back. Wow. I was a lot less successful than I thought. Oh, he did come down. Teleport. Oh well, dog. You may die. Kinda want that coal. I would like to go straight down, and since I survived before, I'll just do it again. if I can help it. And conveniently, having the ladder out in the open like this makes it easier to spot coming back. Um, not so much a problem in a larger cave like this. Is it? Thank you. Uh, but in tighter case systems where you're wandering around a bunch of tunnels that all look alike, I like to be able to see where I'm going from far away. Although, apparently my render distance is bad right here. Um, sometimes what I'll also do is just leave stray blocks, like wood blocks, um, hanging around so that uh, I can find my way back easily, which is also what I do in the nether. So we went a little that way. Let's go a little this way this time. And see if the skeleton was guarding anything interesting. Oh, yep, some gold. I hear a zombie. Is he above to the right, to the left? I think he's behind me at this point. So I did forget to make an iron pick, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Sticks. I'm really enjoying that drag to place feature. So now I can collect this redstone. So I saw iron there for a second. I also like to fill in some of these dark areas. If we make a mob spawner later on, it's better not to have that dark corner uh, with the lower light level where something could spawn. I hear you, but I don't see you. So... There's a cave up there. I did hear that the skeletons in this version were supposedly a lot more difficult, so I'm going to try and avoid them as much as possible. I don't know if they tweaked any of the other mobs. Um, my biggest problem usually in any single-player game at this point early on is... Nope, oh, he came to see me while I'm right next to the lava. No XP for me. Um, yeah, my user, typical, like, mob that gives me problems early on is, uh, the creepers. Uh, the armor's so low, and I can't retreat fast enough. Um, so they end up blowing up in my face and killing me when I have a bunch of, you know, iron and stuff in my inventory. It's problematic. 